If you've ever watched some of my previous videos, especially those regarding the Logitech Shifter, you probably know that I've been fairly critical of it. I, among others who own this product, complain about the kid toy feel of it as it takes little to no force to change gears and it's very easy to misshift among other things. So about a month ago, a kind individual who runs a sim racing hardware modding business known as Gmod reached out and sent me some 3D printed modifications for the shifter which aim to better the feel and performance of it in game. Today I'll be taking you all through this process as I unbox and install these mods and then put it to the test and give it a thorough review. Also, timestamps are provided so you can just skip around to the review if you want. The entire thing came in this small compact cardboard box with an elegant Gmod sticker on it. Opening it up, everything was tightly packed in there. This is because, to my surprise, some mods for the Logitech pedals and even the wheel were also sent out to me, so thank you very much for that and I'll probably make a review on those whenever I get a chance later on. Taking a look at the star of the show however, these mods came tightly wrapped in bubble wrap and arrived without a scratch. The first is an extended gear knob, which I assume is primarily intended for rallying. I received the all black one and straight out of the box, it looked very refined and of high quality. It certainly doesn't feel like some cheap plastic that'll break just by looking at it. The second mod I received is the Magnetic H Shifter. As you can see, it provides a gated menu experience. Moreover, the magnets are intended to provide more tension, less wobble, and more confidence when shifting gears. And according to Gmod, the unit is printed using 20% composite carbon fiber, which gives an excellent finish and great strength. But just the look and feel of it, I certainly don't doubt it, as the print quality looks incredible. Installing the mods is as simple as can be, and coming from someone who struggles putting together Legos designed for children under 15, trust me when I say that. On the bubble wrap itself, the instructions to install are included, and are as straightforward as can be. To install the magnetic H-Shifter mod, remove the plastic cap and the gear knob. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the loaded screw, holding it in place, and make sure not to lose it. The gear knob comes straight off once that is removed. Then remove the 6 Allen head bolts holding the shifter boot. Keep in mind this small Allen key is not included, I just happen to have one lying around. These screws are very small so make sure not to lose them. Once they are removed however, the boot itself comes straight off. Once you've done that, place the mod in place and once again install the screws to tightly hold it in place. Just make sure to apply even tension among all 6 screws and not to over tighten. Once that was secured in place, the last thing to do was to install the new shifter knob and screw it in place. And here we have the modified shifter. Just by looking at it, I honestly think it looks pretty cool and a lot more aggressive. But now it's time to put this to the test and see how it performs. Driving around, the effect of the mod is definitely noticeable. The magnets quickly secure the shifter arm into place, which provide more confidence when driving. Whenever I was rallying and quickly shifting gears, I always felt the tactile click of the metal shifter arm connecting with the magnet, which provides much needed reassurance. Furthermore, they prevent the shifter arm from wobbling around, which you'll notice if you have a butt kicker or any type of motion rig. What I found most helpful, however, was how it made mid-shifts a lot less common. Due to its gated manual nature, not only could I just glance down and know where I needed to shift to, but it also felt more natural to flow through the gears as the plastic gates almost direct the stick into the correct gear. To my surprise, I enjoyed the extended shifter knob a lot more than I anticipated. Not only could I easily grab it or just push it with my palm, but it also gave it more realistic sensation when rallying. The only thing I would change would be its flat top. I would prefer it to be more like this Thrustmaster one which is round on the top and feels a lot nicer on the hand. Unfortunately, the magnetic shifter mod did not have any effect on the actual force needed to shift through the gears, so in terms of increasing tension I was slightly disappointed as it felt the same or maybe only marginally better than the stock version. Perhaps using more powerful magnets could solve this issue as the current ones don't provide much resistance. Overall, I'm pleased with these mods as in essence, they positively impact your experience with the Logitech Shifter. 
It provides more confidence, reduces mischiefs, and makes it more satisfying to shift gears. But unfortunately, it doesn't significantly increase the force needed to shift through the gears, which was a little disappointing. In terms of the physical mods and their build quality, however, I was honestly blown away. They don't by any means look nor feel like any cheap thing. The 3D printing was refined, high quality, and felt smooth to the touch. It remained rigid throughout the many hours I spent using it, so I'm not concerned with its long-term durability by any means either. Hey, good sturdy country craftsmanship! If you're interested in these or any other mods for your Logitech Sam Racing gear, I've provided the links to the Gmod website down below, which I thoroughly recommend. Sure, they sent me these for free, but it's honestly a pretty good bank for your buck that is sure to provide a better sim racing experience. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did or it brought any value to you, consider pressing the like button and subscribing if you are into all types of high quality sim racing content. But with all that being said, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.